All right, there we go. New clone research unlocked. We got Decca. Kill those bugs. Did you guys actually like clear this place out? No, they haven't mined a single goddamn thing, cowards. So it looks like the uh, Decca use heavy cal. Yeah, I can use this. Whoa! Good time to turn turn around. Yeah, the one problem is we're still using pretty weak weaponry. All things considered. Which means mowing through these bugs takes a while. Let's see. You would like to watch me suffer through some dark dwarf fortress. It is on the bucket list. Um I think I might finish my Zelda randomizer run first. And then yeah, we could consider it. Cause I I like Dwarf Fortress. I just the process of getting it modded up so it's actually watchable is a lot more effort than I'd like to put in right now. Okay. Let's see. Deca loots T1 to T3 turrets. Hollow insect. Hollow insect barriers. T1 to T3. Ah. Let's see. What about Wanderers suffering through Beat Saber? I actually don't have a VR setup, and I don't know if I will. I'd like to, and if our new place allows for. Uh, allows for it space-wise, I will absolutely consider getting a, um, a VR setup. I think Shell would love Be Beat Saber, personally. I would enjoy it. Processing. Oh, wow. Processing. Yeah, people weren't kidding when they said lithium to ammunition is actually really... really effective here. At... That was, what, two lithium to get me a, a buttload of stuff? Resources collected. <sighs> Just gonna run through and check every once in a while. And a lazy noob pack solves most of that. New yeah, so I've heard. Um, destination set. New materials have been defined. I'd like to try it someday. Three, it's just two, again, time one, is going to be tough because, yeah, I, I am going to effectively dismantle my setup tomorrow for the most part, save for what goes on a, on a, uh, on a folding table, and then I pack up my life on Wednesday and then I drive on Thursday. Makes actually going anywhere really difficult. We're not going anywhere. Starting anything new really difficult. I'm trying to, you know, do DLCs or, or you know, continue what what uh, games that I currently have. Twenty percent. Forty percent. Sixty percent. Eighty percent. All phases complete. Okay, so we've got we've got Deca two here.
The extra DNA is welcome. We're doing 40, 40 bullets left. Life form detected. Go heal myself beforehand. It looks like my allies are much more effective at killing Decca than I am. I just get wrecked. But then again, I think I'm still playing as the single lone human. Oh, Harvester is full. Okay. What series do I have going on at the moment? Oh god, it's a long list. Uh, Hollow Knight, which I need to record more of. Uh, Hollow Knight, Slay the Spire, Nova, Nova Drift, Porsche, Re Legend, this game, Pray for the Gods, God, God Eater 3. Frustratingly, I've got a list, like, ser right here. Let me let me double check. Okay, so the answer is Subnautica, which just which just ended. Uh, I do have some footage from Shell, so I could put up her perspective. Um, Hollow Knight, Slay the Spire, My Time at Porsche, Genesis Alpha One, War Groove. Uh, oh shoot, yeah, we got to record more of that. Pray for the Gods, which will be ending uh, soon. Away, Journey to the Unexpected, ending soon. Re Legend, ending on Sunday. Nova Drift, Spider Man, Graveyard Keeper, Axi oh Spider Man, Graveyard Keeper, and Axiom Verge, and their billions all go up when I'm going to be gone, so I don't have to worry about it. And then God Eater, so yeah, I guess the last things I need to record are like the rest of Hollow Knight Godmaster and uh, War Groove before I go, and then I'm golden. Frustratingly, the next Hollow Knight DLC comes out on Thursday when I'm in a car, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with that one. Okay, so we got the... We got that off. I could go for the rest of the aluminum. This is a... Oh. New materials have been refined. New materials have been refined. So Gates got sick. Honestly surprising no one. New materials have been refined. He got sick. New materials have been refined. Okay, shroom. He's down here. <sighs> New materials have been refined. I keep harvesting shroom samples off this guy. Yeah, so he's injured. He will just kind of rest it off. This game's kind of creepy. Oh, when you actually observe these people in their bedrooms. I was hoping I could get get some more, uh... I was hoping I could, uh... Get some more, like, disease samples off this guy while we we're just kind of hanging out here. I might just kind of watch him. Oh. He might actually be, like, the last other human on this on this ship. It's mostly, it's mostly arachnoids at this point. I wonder if you played Pocket Rogues yet. Nope. 
That's a, uh, it's a mobile game, yeah? No, it's not, actually. It's on Steam. When did it come out? Last October. Nope, haven't played it yet. I might at some point. I was really hoping I could get more, uh, disease information off the guy. And there's maybe more on the ground? That I missed? Because I effectively want to cure every disease that I come across. And I buy it for you. It's like three bucks. Yeah, uh... I mean, if you... Jeez. I mean, you could probably end... Uh... First, I should probably double check that I don't already have it. One... Serious pos- God damn mushrooms. Why are they just spawning endlessly? Oh. Well, this would explain some things. I swear I was in here earlier, though. See, there was a virus sample in the guy's bunk. Okay, we can go double check it. Just at this point, I've become paranoid because it's clearly spreading somehow. Or it's bugged out and thinks we've got like somebody in here with the uh, the shroom virus. Let's go, let's go double check that guy's bunk. Uh... Is he gone, or is this the wrong one? No? I guess he's up and at him. So you only have one turret on the bottom of the tractor beam? Nah, I got three. It's just two of them are cleverly hidden, so they don't all just light up the same guy simultaneously. I've got this one here. I've got this one here. I've got this one here. And then there's one right here. And then a couple more down that direction. Pretty much nothing gets past this room. But I try and make it so only one gun is shooting at a time, so I'm not wasting ammo. I don't actually know if that works. Personally, I think the first virus sample should unlock the research, and the more virus samples you collect, the faster the research goes. Yeah, that'd be a nice system. Oh, we should go back to the tractor room, because we've actually lost... We have nobody working here anymore. Admittedly, not much Debris left, but still. Okay, so... Job assigned. Moras and Job gates. Assigned. Gates you will never escape. Okay. Harvester Let's just go back down. Six, Aluminum is helpful. Seven, and six, worth stuff. Five, I think... Four, uh, three, correct me if I'm wrong, two, but is aluminum only one, useful for zero. hyperdrives? Because if so, like, it might not be a bad idea to just pick up a bunch of aluminum while I'm here. Oh, right. I was going to double check. Do I have pocket rogues? Nope, nope. That's, that's the wrong inbox. No, no, that's the right one. Yes. Not only, not only, uh, do I have it? Yeah. They, uh, I guess they sent it to me a while back. Unfortunately, it's one of those where I just, can't, I straight up can't get to every single game that I'm ever sent. And that's always been 
I'm just gonna grab more of these. That's always been kind of, I'm not gonna say a point of contention for me, but it's always been like a problem. I, for every game that I play, I get about three more that I will never even do a video on, and I feel guilty about that. Like, I do feel quite guilty about the fact that I can't play every game that every developer so kindly sends me. Unfortunately, I mean, some games are just bad. Some games are really good. And surprise the hell out of me. Knights of Tartarus was a shot in the dark. And I really didn't ex expect it to be any good. And yet... I was quite wrong. It was amazing, and I had a lot of fun playing it. Oops. And now I'm actually on the lookout for, uh, old school, like, JRPGs. Um, there's another one that got sent to me, like, a year ago or something called Knights of Adam. That I might load up and give a go. Because it looks like it had kind of similar feel. Better pixel art, way better pixel art, but I don't know. Um, but so I might just try and play some like old school JRPGs here and there. I think I'm gonna try and finish Dragon Quest XI. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish some games first, as I as I straight up have too many unfinished JRPGs that I actually legitimately like. Uh, to go back to the. Uh, To go back to the thing about Kingdom Hearts, you know, I was asked if I had played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. And the answer is, um... <laughs> the, the other problem I have is just, like, I think for JRPGs, for games that I know are going to be extremely long, I think I'm just gonna stop uh, playing them when they come out. They're worth it, but it's, it's like, it's not worth it enough. So I'll only play the stuff that I really, really want to play, and then actually try and finish stuff. So, like, you know, God Eater 3, okay, I was really looking forward to that. Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm looking forward to, but I haven't even played the previous ones. Yeah, Unfinished Spyro Trilogy, yep. Oh, and it's like, I, I think I'm just going to start finishing those first. Obviously, indie games like, um, well, Genesis Alpha 1, yeah, okay, this game is a little bit longer, um... But indie games I will always kind of prioritize over RPGs, generally. Just because they tend to do better on my channel. RPGs always do crap. I love RPGs. Like, that's generally the only thing I played when I was younger. But... Harvester destination set. I think I sh am only Six, going to generally five, play... Resources coming? Collected. Okay, he's coming. Uh... I think the future, I'm, I'm generally Zero. only going to try and play indie games Watch and then, like, one, activated. maybe two RPGs at a time if they're, like, good ones. I don't know. It's... This way I can actually start finishing some games, because the problem is, business-wise, YouTube always is like, Nope, you gotta play new things constantly, haha! -ha. And it's like, ah. But I don't know. I'll try and finish what I can. I try very hard to finish what I can. It's fine if you just do RPGs. Yeah, but even then it's like, it's a tough thing to do. Yeah, tell that to the Minecrafters. I, well... There's some problems with just going... Full on Minecraft. So I, I know a number of pure Minecraft channels. Know of and I know of a number, and I I know a, a couple. I mean, obviously. What the? I think my guys actually survive better when they're not getting attacked in melee. That's an interesting thing. But the melee, the melee aliens wreck my dudes, but if it's somebody with a gun, they actually do fine. That's interesting. But yeah, 
YouTube's algorithms heavily favor new series over long series. Does it make sense? Actually, it makes perfect sense. Uh, people are flighty. It has nothing to do with the algorithm, and it has everything to do with the fact that people watch episode one of a series and then move on. Uh, you know, people like to complain about how I never finished the series, but uh, it's actually... It's really common for people to... Uh, you know, watch the first episode, and then it just zero. steep drop uh, as the series goes on. So, like, I can have a series that, that gets, like, 10,000 views per episode for the first 10 episodes, and then after that it's, like, 5,000, and then 4,000, and then 3, and then 2. And it happens no matter how popular the series is to some degree. Um, one, it's because people will just kind of hit the playlist and then just watch until New they get bored. have been refined. Or, you know, they lose interest in the game, or, you know, they just had it suggested and watched, like, the first couple of videos out of curiosity and whatnot. And, um... Resource acquired. And so... It's... It is it is not a YouTube algorithm thing. You're saying, like, Resource they favor extremely long single-game channels or one to two episodes of everything. That... Okay, the one, one to two... It's... It's kind of a back and forth. So the reason why uh, channels that only focus on one thing can do well is because effectively their audience likes that Resource one thing. And if you can actually build a channel around that one thing, chances are it's a popular enough thing Resource that you just acquired. have guaranteed views for it regardless. Uh, yeah, or they watch the stream after a certain point. Yep. Yeah, we had 180 people for Nova Drift, 190 for a bit. And now we're down to eh, 130 to 150 for uh, Genesis Alpha 1. I totally understand why. Um, but it's why you see people that, that get, like, neurotic about Resources only playing refined. one game and then getting New really upset when they switch refined. around. Yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft is Resources the is the refined. famous trap uh, that more or less ruined a bunch of channels, kind of? Where it's like people that got really big on Minecraft Resources but could not refined. find another game to pivot to. Uh, which is actually really, really dangerous, because effectively, eventually people lose interest in Minecraft. Well, what do you do then? Uh... So I have conversations with my YouTube manager, not unfortunate, or not, not... Uncommonly, where he's talking about, like, other channels that are, are very focused on Destiny, for example. And how, you know, it's... Storage capacity at max... Oh, we're maxed out on storage? Really? Oh, that's a good thing. Now we go shopping. Okay, so no active processes. Nothing else to beam on board, yeah? Yeah. And technically we could go down to this planet. Let's just go down to that planet, grab the last two things. Uh, you had that happen with Scrap Mechanic. Oh yeah! Yeah, Scrap Mechanic was by far my fav my most popular series. With the exception of Fallout 4, I had both running concurrently. And so, uh, effectively, my channel looked like it was doing amazingly, but it was extremely slanted for two series. And without either of those running, uh, my channel actually took quite a dip. Uh, and it, it got kind of spooky. But, uh, but yeah, so, after 400 episodes, 400 episodes, by the way. People were still watching pretty exclusively, like, Scrap Mechanic, and Fallout was still doing bananas well, comparatively. And, yeah, I, I will admit I missed playing both games. I enjoyed both, but I couldn't see myself doing them exclusively. And I knew after a certain point, I had to stop, because if I didn't... You know, I knew that if I didn't, that was going to take over my channel and edge out literally everything else, which you really don't want to do. Oh, did we get everything already? Well, that was easy. Because, yeah, being being too reliant on one, one series makes your channel uh, stagnate, I guess. Even Fortnite is probably going to slow down at some point. I'm sure most of the people that got, like, astronomically large due to, uh, you know, the people that got astronomically large due to Fortnite's existence and boost and whatever 
you know, I'm sure at some point they're going to, um... They're going to kind of peter out. New materials have been refined. Themselves are trying to find something new, and, you know, we're not going to find a whole lot of new people new that are getting really, really large based on... Let's see, is that Lowell? We've got a bunch of uranium. Warning. Let's go see Lowell. Yeah, everyone's currently playing Apex Legend. We'll see how that holds up, because, like, previously Black Ops 4 was beating out Fortnite for a bit. But it might not stick. Okay, turret 2. We already have turret 2. And we've already got Workshop 3. I thought we had turret 2. New materials have been refined. Okay. So... Do we go to Burke? Warning. Let's go to Burke. Prepare for hyperdrive. I'm curious how sunstorms are going to go anyway. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of time here. He does not have anything. Okay, we gotta leave. But yeah, I, I played a little bit of Apex Legends. I thought it was fun, but I'm not too too interested in playing more New of it immediately. Have been refined. Um, Clone Lab Two is there. Machine Gun is out there. Suit upgrades are out there. So let's head for the Clone Lab Two, probably. Unfortunately, it's right next to a mechanics. Force field is at full strength. Location. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit more. But yeah, I don't know. I I really liked uh, Apex Legends, and I played it with uh, Price and Ash. And I think once I've moved, if people are still playing it, uh, I might stream it occasionally. I'll probably tell them to ping me when I'm streaming, and it's like, yo. Unless I'm, like, playing with somebody else, yell at me, and I actually would mind playing Apex Legends for a bit, because it is a legitimately good battle royale. I did I did not care at all for... Wait, Sartorius got all the way up there? What? Warning. Okay, let's go to the clone lab. I have to be a bit worried. Uh, Madman, if you're still there, do you know if it warns you that you're that they're trying to board you? Because I don't want to get pirated. But I also want some platinum. Well, there's platinum. Be nice if they left me alone. Now this is high danger. After you get shields, it will say your shields have recharged. So there's actually no warning that they're trying to board you. Harvester destination. Frustrating. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, I do have a power shotgun. Screw it. Let's go power shotgun. Yeah, because I know it'll say your shields have recharged, but if they're currently trying to board you, does it say? Because that is my biggest worry. Is that I'm going to be faffing around doing this and I'm going to come back to a ship full of dudes. 